Hi, welcome to art class. My name is Mrs. Davis. I'm your art teacher. This year in art class, we're going to learn how to use art materials. We're going to learn about the elements of art. That's like the ingredients of art, like lines and color and shapes and other things that you use to make your art. And we're also going to learn about famous art. So when you're with me, we're going to be talking about painting and how to use our paintbrush. We'll learn how to use scissors safely. We'll learn the best ways to color and how to draw using different lines and shapes to make different things. We're also going to learn about famous art. Your first assignment is to learn about the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is a very famous portrait. A portrait is a picture of a person. This is the Mona Lisa picture. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci a long time ago. Oh, oh yeah, you do know another Leonardo, right? A famous turtle? He's named after Leonardo da Vinci who painted the Mona Lisa. And the Mona Lisa is very famous, but she wasn't always famous. And the reason why she's famous is she was just a plain portrait in a museum. But one day, somebody snuck into the museum and stole the Mona Lisa. She was missing for a long time. But it took them a few days to say, huh, why is that wall blank? Oh wait, where is the Mona Lisa? And then the public found out and they said, why would they take the Mona Lisa? What makes that painting so special? Huh, I'm looking at it. Why is she smiling? She's very mysterious. Huh, well, why would somebody want the Mona Lisa? I want the Mona Lisa. I love the Mona Lisa. You love the Mona Lisa? And everybody started talking about Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. They found her and put her back in the museum and then lots of crowds of people would come to see the Mona Lisa and that's how she became so famous. So today in your art lesson you're going to watch about Leonardo da Vinci, a Grover version of him on Sesame Street, making the Mona Lisa and you're going to see how he tries to make her smile. Artist, artists can show feelings in their art. You can use different lines to show happy, sad, serious, angry, many different emotions by just changing the types of lines and shapes you use when drawing your portrait's face. So you're gonna watch that video about Mona Lisa, and then you're gonna color in the Mona Lisa, and you're gonna draw her face the way that you do. Let me show you how I did mine. In your packet, you have a Mona Lisa template, and we're going to color this in. I have the Mona Lisa here, and you can see that the background has that bluish green hue down to the horizon line. So to color quickly I'm and softly, I'm going to just unwrap my crayon and I'm rolling it on its side. And then I can even mix some colors. I can put some blue up at the top for the sky. And then if I want to have the trees, I could move my hand in a curly motion to get the texture of trees. Sometimes when you're coloring, you want to move your crayon or your whatever you're coloring with in different ways. And look, when you're noticing, we said this is a portrait, but look, there's lots of sky and ground. There's a horizon line back there. And I'm noticing things that I haven't noticed before. Some parts are a little bit more of a reddish color. You can mix colors with your crayons by coloring on top. Okay, after you do your background, color her dress. She kind of has like a greenish colored dress. to 
use the point and I'm going to talk about good coloring as a art student. You want to, when you're coloring, to stay inside the lines. You can go around the outside. And then we want to make sure we don't leave any white space. So we're going to go up and down, up and down, one step. Up and down, up and down, two steps. Up and down, up and down, three steps. And again, around the outside. Up and down, up and down, up and down, one step. Up and down, up and down, two steps. Up and down, up and down, three steps. And then again, around the hands. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Nice, neat coloring. And then we have to show emotion. We have to show her face. How she's looking so I'm gonna put right towards the middle of her face two dots for the eyes I'm gonna put a line over for her eyebrows you can draw a nose like a letter L which is line down and a line over and then that nice smile and you have your Mona Lisa. You could finish by coloring around the frame, and then you could also take a picture and put it on our Padlet. I would love to see how you drew your Mona Lisa. Okay, great job with the Mona Lisa drawings. Remember, when you're on our Zoom calls, good artists, good art listeners, sit like the Mona Lisa. Your eyes are looking, your mouth is quiet and you're sitting still. When we're on a Zoom call, we don't want to be moving around, running around our house. You want to be sitting and looking and listening. And your mouth is quiet. You have a quiet mouth and you'll be on mute most of our art lesson unless you raise your hand to talk and your eyes are looking. You need to be looking at the screen so you can be learning about art. Once you make your Mona Lisa, you can send me a picture on Padlet. That's our online gallery. You just take a picture with a phone or a device or an iPad and you post it on Padlet. It's really simple. Um, that's optional and I would love to see those, but don't stress uploading. Uh, I just want to make sure that everybody's enjoying art class this year and we're having fun making art. I look forward to all the great things we do together this year. And if you have any questions, just email me or call me at this school. Have a great day, everyone. Open a browser and go to padlet.com slash paart. Use a device with a camera like a phone. You click the pink plus sign and it, then click the camera button. Take a picture. It will automatically upload. Title your post with your child's first name and last initial. No login is required and the posts will be displayed after my approval. If you have any questions on this, please email me at ariana.davis at pittstonarea.com. Thank you.